Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I want to show you a new Python framework that is going to blow your mind. It's a web development framework called Pinecone. It allows us to write only Python code to create an entire website, including both the front end and the back end. Yep, all you need is Python. Under the hood, Pinecone will take your Python code and compile into a React and Next.js application. But the cool thing is that the programmer doesn't have to deal with any JavaScript, HTML or CSS, only pure Python. This means that you don't have to know any JavaScript, React or Next.js, and you can still make modern and awesome looking websites. So what do you think? Do you think it's a good idea to use Python to wrap around the React and Next.js framework? Let me know in the comments below. I've had a chance to play around with Pinecone and made a simple stock price chart web application, which I'll show you at the end of the video. I want to share some background about Pinecone in case this is the first time you've heard about it. This project was founded by two software engineers by late 2022. As you can see, their pre-alpha version was released in November 2022 on their GitHub repo. The Pinecone project is backed by Y Combinator, which is a tech startup accelerator that backed a lot of successful and famous tech companies such as Reddit, Airbnb, Twitch, etc. Although the project is very young, I see big potential here. And let me share some stats with you. I learned about the framework on March 10th on Twitter, and this tweet by Remstri appeared on my feed and that's how I discovered at that time the Pinecone GitHub repo had about 5.6 thousand stars and just five days later the repo now has 6.7 thousand stars and it's still growing very fast. On March 14th, OpenAI did a ChatGPT4 demo and during the demo they actually mentioned the Pinecone framework. I don't know if anyone saw that. If you want to know what Pinecone can build, Go to their official website and click on this gallery on the top right. They have a bunch of examples with both source code and live app available. Let's take a look at this Dolly example. So Dolly is another text to image generation program similar to Stable Diffusion. And let's type in Pinecone. Not bad. A lot of the examples here are more like widgets, but I want to assure you that you can use Pinecone to build an entire web application, not just these widgets. This is the web app I built. I used Y Finance to get stock historical prices and Plotly Express to make the line chart. The entire page is then made and rendered by Pinecone. And we can do a lot of customization here, for example, like the dark light mode, user icon, menu, CSS styling for text and buttons. And this data table down here, this comes with the Pinecone library. On the top, it seems like we can use some background color uh, for the navbar so that the page doesn't show through. The entire application took about 80 lines of code to write. And as you can see, this is 100% Python code. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty excited about Pinecone framework and I'll be testing more things out with it. Are you going to use it? Let me know in the comments below. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.